it's moving on to the receive transfer section in the transaction. The receive transfer is used to give the receipt to the concerned person. So here we can see the voucher number different and you can select the bank or via cash. If the bank details is not given, you can give addition there. And here I'm selecting cash. And here down you can see the account ledger. And I selected it there the salary. And the gains button is not used in salary case. So I can give there the amount as the salary. We are giving and select the currency and the check number. Because the cash transaction is done via bank. So we are giving the check number. And next there you can give the check date. Against button, as you know, it is used and enabled only when bill by bill option is enabled for corresponding party. And next, what I'm selecting is is the uh, party. So, uh, after making the specified selection, I selected the party, and now what I'm doing is that I just press the against button. And here, what I'm doing is that give the party details. And reference, I just give the gains and voucher type I'm selecting here. And after that, you can give the voucher number and the pending balance, which shows the amount pending that we have to give the party. And in the amount, you can give the amount we are paying right now to the party. And uh, select the currency, and uh, down you can see the total amount. And uh, you can save it. Row 1 contains invalid entries. That is shown that we have to enter all the details regarding an against button. So you have to fill everything. That is the amount has to be given properly. That is the reference you, you give on account. And you gave the amount, the currency. And the total amount you can see down and you just save it. So that details is saved in the particulars. So here you can see all the details that you have already entered. And if you have to do any addition thing, just go to the receipt voucher and you just make the addition thing. We are giving the check number out there and the check date is given there. And we, we can save. If you want to save it, just can press the save button so it is saved successfully. If you want to make anything clear, you can just clear button. And after that, you can close it. Next, going to the register, you can just go to the receipt register. Here we can see from which date to which date we are going to select. So, whatever receipt thing which has happened you in between this date, you can see that. And you selected the voucher number. You just gave the voucher number. And reset button is used for clearing as well. And you can see the details of that. All the account ledger details under you can see. And you can see a specific amount. And if you just press that, you can see the account ledger details of the salary, party balance, cash, everything you can see. And if I just select that, if you want to remove, just select and just press delete. You can delete that. And if you want to remove, just select and remove that. Next here, I'm just taking the, giving the cash and entering the amount. And here just want to, if any uh, party details has to be given, you can just give by pressing against button. And here you are entering the check number. And next you are entering the check date here. And under you just press update. So what happened is that it's updated. So it's shown updated successfully. And here you can see all the details regarding the receipt voucher. And after you're selecting that, you can just...